All right, so let's continue working on this project. So this is where we left off last time. Let me just go ahead and drag this to the right and the VS code over here to the left so that we can see what's happening with our project as we code over here. And I have here an outline of what we're going to cover in this video. So we're going to be basically creating a multiple page website with navigation links. So anyway, uh, a typical website has multiple pages, right? As you can see over here, for example, in this Xbox website, you have navigation links over here that when you are going to click on them, it routes you to that particular page. And they also have this typically the home button, which is the company icon typically, and uh, brings you back to the home page. And there are multiple links even at the footer over here. Uh, they have these links that will guide the user to a separate page. So of course, what we're going to create is something simple. And before that, I just wanted to introduce a concept here that the basic structure of HTML has two parts. There's the head and the body part. Or we can say it in technical term, the head tag and the body tag. So that's the only thing we need to know at this point. We are going to learn more about HTML structure later on down the line. The only reason that we need to do this right now is because we're going to be installing an extension called live server. So an extension is typically a feature that we can add in our code editor in order to add feature, a functionality, or to make us more productive. So let me show you this image right over here to learn about live server. So basically, this extension automatically reload the web page whenever we save or make some change into our code. Because you might have noticed that uh, every time we have to make a change here, we still have to reload the page so that it will appear on our application. For example, if I'm going to type here like a word, uh, JavaScript, uh, let's say PHP, uh, C++, C Sharp. If I'm going to save this, we still have to refresh the page uh, before it comes out or before it appears. All right. But with live server, we don't have to refresh it every time we save our work. So we don't have to worry anymore of uh, manually doing it ourselves. So let's go ahead and install that extension. So over here in VS Code, in order to install that extension, this is the icon that you should be looking for. If you hover on it, it says extension. So just click on that and it will show up a text box over here at the top, like a search bar. Just type the word live and it will start searching for that particular extension. And if I'm going to click here, because I want to make sure that you will install the right uh, software. Notice the details. The author is Ritwik D. The downloads are right about uh, 48 uh, millions at the time of this recording and a very high rating as well. And this is the version at the moment. And you will see here an install button. Let's go ahead and click on that. It will just take a few seconds. And once it's done, we are just going to restart this code by just closing it and restarting it again to make sure that the extension is going to work properly. And it looks like we are done installing the extension. Let me go ahead and close this one and minimize this and relaunch the application. All right, so let me just put this at the side again. And this page right over here, we don't need this anymore. We are going to close it. And uh, I have mentioned about the head tag and the body tag, right? So the extension is not going to work without these tags. So let's go ahead and add them. So over here at the top, let's type the word head and then just press the tab key on the keyboard to autocomplete. So after that, let's just go to the next line and now type body and then tab again and it will autocomplete. We have the opening tag and the closing tag over here. So just ignore the head for now. We are going to learn more about that as we, are, as we go along in this course. And all of the codes here, highlight them, right click on it, and then cut, and uh, click here in between the opening and closing body tag, and control V on the keyboard to paste these codes. So you can fix the indentation as well, so that it is properly arranged. And I also would like to mention this dot over here. It is an indicator that our work is not yet saved. So if you are going to press control S on the keyboard, that particular uh, dot is going to 
disappear. And that means our work is saved. So right now, let me go ahead and put this at the side. And we are going to test if the live server is already working. So let's go ahead and right click on our file and click this open with live server. And now we have a preview with our project. Let me close this one. Now I'm going to add some text over here. Let's say for example, h1. And I'll just type here live server is installed. Or you can type anything you want. Now observe this page over here. I am about to press the control S on the keyboard to save this. So I'm going to click here and then control S. You will notice we don't have to reload the page. That text after we uh, type it in here after pressing control S to save, that one automatically appears on our project. All right, so now that we already have installed the live server extension, we can now go ahead and start working with this project, the uh, uh, multiple page website with navigation links. So right now, let's go ahead and uh, delete everything here in this body. Okay, and save our work. And as you can see in our uh, uh, browser, it's gone as well automatically. And we're going to rename our file index.html. Like so. The reason that we're doing this because uh, this is the standard uh, home page file name for every website. So later on in this course, when we are going to learn about how to de deploy our website, you will notice that most hosting platforms is expecting that we have an index.html file in our project. But right now that we have renamed the file, as you can see here, we have an error that says cannot get because it is still trying to access the my page that html that one don't exist anymore since we have renamed our file so let's go ahead and close this one and let's right click this file again and then open with live server and now we're back so let's get started over here let's create an h1 and maybe we can type here welcome to my website all right and as you can see upon saving it appears on our browser and i'm going to go to the next line and i will type hr the HR tag, when we save that, creates a line on our page. And the one that we're going to be creating right now is, if you're going to look at my outline, is to place an image on our page. So as you can see, number three, we already have achieved that. So let's go ahead and go to a website called Pixabay. And we're going to download an image. Uh, let's type a code here, or you can type laptop if you want and anything, uh, any picture that you wanted to display on your website, I'm just going to select this one over here and click on download. This resolution is fine to me. I'm going to click on download and it will go ahead and download that file. I'm going to click this icon so that it will show up in my explorer window. I'm going to copy this, okay, right click here or you can press control C on the keyboard. But in my case, I'll just uh, right click and then Click copy and I'm going to right click here in this section reveal in file explorer that will open up the project itself as you can see if we head over into that folder this is the index.html file that we see over here so I'm going to right click here and then paste which is this one in Windows 11 or you can press Control V on the keyboard and that is our file over there if I'm going to change the view to large icons and as you can see that's the image that we have downloaded from Pixabay. Let me minimize this one. So the file as you can see here in VS Code is also uh, can be previewed here by clicking on it. So what I'm going to do now is right click here and then rename. I'll just type here laptop okay to make the file name simple. So how do we place this on our page? We can go ahead and type the IMG keyword and then tab on the keyboard now it will auto complete into something like this now this one don't worry about this right now we call this attribute and i'm going to discuss that in more detail down the line so at this point all we have to do is here in the src attribute click here in between those quotes and type the file name laptop.jpg which is the picture you can actually click here and it will autocomplete as well. Save our work and that image will appear here on our project. The picture happens to be very, very large. So if I'm going to maximize this one, 
we actually have it right over here. So I just zoom out a little bit so we can see the image itself. So we can add an additional attribute to modify the height and width for this image. So I can type here height. As you can see, it, al it also auto-complete by just pressing enter. And over here, the height, I'm going to say for now, 400. Save our work. And as you can see, the image was reduced. So I'm going to put this back again to 100% view on my Chrome browser. So by doing that, we were able to achieve, uh, we already have a line over there and the image over there. Now we're going to be creating links. Just like image, let me go ahead and maximize this one for you. Uh, maybe we will create uh, two HR so that we have two lines over here. In between those HR, I'm going to type a keyword called A, just the letter A, and then press tab on the keyboard and it will auto complete as well. And uh, notice the location of my cursor. Make sure that your cursor is over here. I'm going to type here home. All right. And I'm going to copy this and place it here over here make sure you have some at least uh, one space and this one is going to be contact okay and space here again paste this one is going to be for example about me and space here and let's type here for example YouTube okay let's go ahead and save this and put this at the side and let's see what happens Oh, by the way, this line over here, you can drag this to the left if you want more space. And uh, on your keyboard, you can press the Alt key and Z to wrap the code like so. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see everything here on my screen. And notice that the home right over here, uh, unlike this text, if we hover over to this uh, elements, the pointer the mouse pointer changes into a hand that means these elements over here are clickable but right now it doesn't do anything right so we're going to be creating an html file for contact and about me for youtube we will do something different so so let's create the two files over here you can click this icon to bring up this uh, section and we can right click here and let's type contact.html and let's type an h1 and let's say and let's just type here this is the contact uh, page let's create another file about me that or just about that html and let's type an h1 and let's just type some text here that says this is the about page okay so let's go back to index.html file just click on it and over here okay let me zoom in a little bit in between these codes, type the file name contact.html. I'm going to zoom out again. So contact.html. And for the about me, type about.html. Now let's head over to this page. Let's click contact. As you can see, we are now on a separate page. Even in the URL over here in this address bar, it says contact.html. Let's click the back button and we're back to the home page. Let's click the about me. Now we are on the about.html file and it says this is the about page just like what we have written in here. All right, so now what we wanted is when we go to the separate pages, we wanted to have this navigation as well. So for the meantime, what we can do is copy this. So highlight it, control C on the keyboard Go to contact.html and place this at the top. You can click here and press enter and uh, paste in that location. Same thing with about. Click here, press enter, and place that above it. Okay. And after doing that, we can now go ahead and type here the head tag as well as the body tag. Let's go ahead and relocate all of this inside the body tag. Let's do the same thing with the contact. So there should be a head here and a body tag as well. Let's relocate this code and paste it over here. Fix some indentation and save our work. All right, so let's go ahead and click contact. Now we are on the contact page, but we can still 
see the navigation let's go to about me now we are on the about page and if we're going to click home as you can see we were unable to go back because in our menu we did not indicate here yet the href attribute so the href attribute is this is where we actually put the link to the file or the file name itself so let's go ahead and type here the index.html we want to make sure that we also have it here on the other files so index.html also here in about html file uh, let's type that word as well or the file name control s to save so now if we head over to our project maximize that go to contact about me and in home now we were able to go back to the home page with this image now i'm going to teach you something different on youtube uh, what we wanted to happen is when we click this youtube it will go to your youtube channel if you have one well not only youtube but any website that you want so right now what i'm going to do i'll just copy this url okay copy that and place it here in this uh, within this double quotes for the anchor tag for youtube and by the way i might not have mentioned it yet but this element right here we call it the anchor tag or the link tag so i'm going to paste the youtube link over there going to be doing the same thing with uh, the rest of the files as well okay about that html uh, place that over here i'm going to go to file and save all all right so head back to the project and i'm going to click this uh, pages to make sure that they're still working and they are now i'm going to click on youtube and as you can see it will route us to this page over here all right, so that's quite a lot to cover in one video. And I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.